Welcome to my channel. I'm Christy and this is Living La Vida Nomad. Today I wanted to talk about routines while traveling. So many people, especially with children, think you can't travel because your children has rig have rigid, rigid routines. And I found from my experience in 10 years of traveling that that's not true. So there's some ways that you can implement routines in your travel. So you need to think about what routines you currently have with your children or with yourself. Um, and you need to think about how you can change those routines to make them more fitting with traveling. So for example, at home normally, you have this big drawn out routine for bedtime. You read seven stories, you have a bath with a, one specific um, bubble bath, you, I don't know, you watch, you know, a certain channel on TV for however long, you, you know, you've got all these specific things that you do. So in order to change that for travel, you need to kind of make it compact and you need to make it so that it's able to be done anywhere. So for us, our bedtime routine consists of brushing teeth, um, brushing our teeth and kind of washing up and then reading a story. And those things can be done anywhere. I can do them in, in an airport. I can brush teeth and wash faces in an airport bathroom. We can sit together and read a book um, on a bus, on a plane, in an airport, in a hotel. So it doesn't, so, and I kind of have made that routine over time, like you can't just change it tomorrow and everybody's fine. Some kids you can, but my kids you can't. Um, so, and also think about if there's new routines or traditions that you can add into your family to help travel go better. So with my big kids, so I've got four big kids that are close in age, and then I have a 10 year gap and I have two kids that are kind of close in age, they're like three and a half years apart. Um, so with my four big kids, I was a single mom, I didn't have a lot of money, and so um, I would do, for the birthday child, they got to pick what they wanted to do, and just I, me and them, would go and do that thing, whether it be go out for dinner, or go to a movie, or whatever but just myself and that child. And then earlier in the day, we would all go to the mall. I would give the other three children a few dollars each. They would go to the dollar store and buy their siblings some gifts. And that's what we did. Um, now with my two little boys, um, because we travel a lot, um, I started doing they get a cake on their birthday, of course, and then their birthday gift is whatever toy I can find for them that will fit on their birthday cake. And they really enjoy this. Um, they talk about it for months before their birthday. I wonder what I'm going to get on my cake. 
oh, maybe I'll get this on my cake. Maybe I'll get that on my cake. They really enjoy it. So that's one thing that we do. Another thing that I've implemented for Christmas, because while you're traveling it, sometimes it's really hard to find a Christmas tree and decorations and, you know, all the stuff that goes with Christmas. So I found this really, really big stocking. It's probably five feet long in a secondhand store and it has so it's got the main stocking and then it's got pockets on the front it's got five pockets and so um, everybody gets a pocket We're, we have one extra but everybody gets a pocket and then there's stuff inside and it works really well for us um, so yeah just think about how you can change your routines to be okay with traveling and once you think you have your routine set so that it's good for traveling, you could attempt to go on a short trip and use those routines. Because um, if you go on a short trip and you find that the routine isn't working, then you can tweak it a little bit more so that when you're traveling full time, it's working really well for you.